Three, two, one. I want to test the power of attraction, and to do so, I've set up an open-air lunch date with a difference. If you look up now, above your head uh, is a chandelier. Have a look. That particular chandelier, despite the fact it's attached to this huge contraption, is about to be held up by nothing more than an electromagnet. Yes, my plan is to replace the safety rope currently holding up the chandelier with this small electromagnet attached to a metal plate hanging from the crane. An electromagnet is an electrically powered magnet, just like the ones used to pick up metal in a junkyard. But the difference is, the one in the junkyard is about this big and it can lift up a car. And it's powered by huge amounts of electricity. That one is only powered by six batteries. I don't even know if six can hold it. But what I want to do is firstly turn it on, see if it can take the entire weight of the chandelier, and then knock the batteries off, pop them off, pop, 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 one by one. The electromagnet will be hooked onto this chandelier. The only power to the magnet comes from the electric cable from this unit in my hand, powered by six batteries. So, the question is, how many batteries will I need to keep my 90-pound chandelier from falling? I would say maybe four batteries. OK. What do you I reckon? I think one can yeah. handle it. Yeah, I think one will hold it up. How many do you think? <laughs> I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> At all? OK, right. And how many do you think? I think five. I think you need a little more power to hold that. So, how many batteries will I need to keep the chandelier airborne? Will I need five batteries, four batteries, or just one battery to keep the chandelier from falling, or will it be none of the above? Time to retire to a safe distance and find out. Chuck, you ready to turn it on? My glamorous assistant here, Chuck, activates the electromagnet and it immediately sticks to the metal block. Right, Chuck, in your own time, release the safety harness. This gun's drive. Oh! <laughs> So, all six batteries do provide enough power to my electromagnet to keep the chandelier held tight. But now it's time to start powering down. Are we ready for this? OK. Yeah. Yeah. First battery. Three, two, one. Ah! Oh, yeah. 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 Right, now we go to four. Here we go. Oh, OK. Nice. OK, this is for three batteries left. Oh. Yeah! Should we do another one? Let's keep it going. Oh, yeah. Just two 9-volt batteries are somehow keeping the chandelier from smashing into our feast. Surely that is the limit, right? Three, two, two one. one. Oh, yeah. OK, OK, here we go. One, one battery. Just one 9-volt battery provides enough power to the electromagnet to hold a 90-pound chandelier in the air. Do you want me to prove that the one battery's holding it up and we're not yes. cheating? Yeah. OK. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you want to see this? All right, here we go. Three, two, one. The conclusion is literally shattering. Just one 9-volt battery is enough to hold the chandelier. But how is that possible? When you send electricity down any wire, you get a magnetic field, OK? Now, if we coil that wire, which is basically what we're doing inside an electromagnet, if we coil it round and round and round and round and round and round and round, there's a whole lot of wire squashed up into a small place. Winding the electric wire into a coil concentrates the magnetic field over a smaller area. This effect is enhanced even more by placing a core of soft iron inside the coil. Passing through this metal core, the magnetic field is vastly increased, so in this case, just one 9-volt battery can generate a magnetic field powerful enough to hold up a 90-pound chandelier. So do you understand it? Yeah. yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. Shall we eat? Come yeah. on. Okay. <laughs> Let's go.